I'm Kim Linquist. I've been here as the Community Development Director in the City of Rosemont for 17 years. Uh, I've been a planner for about 35 years and I'm married with uh, some children. I've got a dog and a cat at home and I'll be spending some time with my pets. I was the Community Development Director in Cottage Grove and was looking for a new challenge. And Rosemont really provided some exciting opportunities. From a construction uh, standpoint, one of the first big projects I worked on was the Harmony neighborhood. Um, at the time it was the old Brockway Glass Factory. So it was a pretty complex project in terms of uh, removing the old factory. Um, it's a variety of different residential type of development um, in there. So there's single family, there's townhomes, there was originally several apartment projects approved. And it was really exciting to work on something that large and kind of really challenging in terms of um, putting all the pieces together with the developer. You know, there's really a lot of great projects, and one of the first projects um, that has been controversial and probably still would be today for some residents is the Waterford Project downtown, because that was really the first big redevelopment project in the downtown and set the tone for future development in the downtown. It's rental, which we didn't have a lot of rental at the time. It really paved the way for some other projects that the city had a hand in, like uh, the redevelopment of the Gens Ryan site and the Culver's and the housing in that location, the Morrison that's currently under development. But also those um, public infrastructure investments also led to private investment. And so um, certainly the Flegals have put um, a good reinvestment into their site and made a, a really beautiful retail establishment. Um, that's really been the goal of the uh, downtown redevelopment. And so to get that uh, established downtown that can maintain that core for the, for the community is really important. I spent a lot of my work on the downtown um, and the downtown redevelopment, and I, I hope that people feel good about the downtown. Um, it was a, quite a high goal for uh, the councils in the, in the 2000s, um, 2004, five to 10, and so I think people um, would be happy with the work that's down there and really reinforced and kind of elevated uh, the downtown. The development associated uh, where the Aldi's and the Starbucks is the Rosemont Crossing. So even before I came, there was a sign up that um, said coming soon. And so everybody called it the coming soon site. So then when the project actually came forward, um, and got approval, everyone was like, no way, the coming soon site will never develop. And so finally, thankfully, you know, there was construction, but everybody called it the coming soon site, which of course the developer had nothing to do with. I mean, it was the landover from a long time ago. So it was just kind of funny because I think even today, some of the um, residents would still call it the, the coming soon site. I uh, hope people are confident about the communities that we've built. The staff, the Planning Commission and Council have worked hard to try to have a sense of community in these neighborhoods through design, um, layout, sidewalks, connections between neighborhoods. There's been a lot of effort and a lot of planning before these things happen to try to address the, the goals of the community. I guess the, f the final thing I would say is that, you know, I think the Rosemont is really on the cusp of some new development. I think we, the staff here, all, really everyone in this community development department, but also other um, staff have helped um, to set the table to make those projects a uh, reality. It really is a team effort. The Port Authority is really that economic development arm that helps the city to bring in businesses and attract them as well as 
uh, recognize our existing businesses and, and retain them and help them expand. And we certainly wouldn't be able to do any kind of development without the goals and the, um, policies of the council and the direction that the council wants to go to and of course the planning commission as well as the parks commission also and the utility commission. It's really a team effort by everyone and we need to um, we need to communicate well and work together to get some of the projects through that um, are good for the community.